Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Tectonica. I'm sitting here by term what I call Terminal 2. I might have a different name. Let's see, does it say anything? Prod Terminal Victor. All right, Terminal Victor. I'm going to keep calling it Terminal 2. And I was just checking to see how we're doing here. I brought some more stuff over. So we've got, let's see, 600 and what, 41 more filter inserters to supply. We've got those being produced. It's a little slow, but we're making progress. Uh, we've got all our planners supplied. We've got all of our assemblers apply, supplied. We need um, 500 more high, what is this, uh, high voltage cable. I can just uh, give that. So how about 400 and whatever that is, 14 more cable. Maybe we can set up a temporary production run on this. I was kind of making some of this by hand between episodes. But you have to listen to the crafting click over and over and over again. I think we could just throw some plant matter and some cable into a hopper or into a couple hoppers. And then just um, make this in an assembler. So we may get that going. But our main focus last episode and this episode is going to be the cooling systems. There's 2,000 of those that are needed. And we're in the process of setting up... Um, Production of this stuff here. Is it going to show me what it is? The goo. Shiverthorn extract. So let's get back to it. Get that off the screen here. Oh, while I'm here, maybe I could grab some bio bricks. By the way, we, we dropped in all those extra seeds. Remember? Uh, let's see how that's doing. Okay, we've got a little bit of backup on plants to thresh seeds so effectively there's a bunch of seeds being held up in here where we might want to scale this operation up at some point and add some threshers um i've got one on me you know i've got extras on me let we'll come back and deal with that later while we're here um i did just empty the bio bricks that we did make that we have been making i'll just grab the rest so we have them on hand and then let's get out of here and get back to the Shiverthorn uh, production. We may need to go exploring to find more Shiverthorn plants. I can't even remember what they look like in the wild. But what I want to do, we'll get back to our operation over here. What I think I'm going to do, between episodes I was giving this some thought. Because we don't have that many seeds, I think I'm going to let this line of planters just sit dormant as it is. We won't expand into this yet. In fact, why don't we shut off here, disconnect this line, so we're not supplying any seeds. And then we'll just let this one grow to, instead of to eight, let's grow this to six. So we'll put some more, we'll get back to it right now. Let's uh, put two more planters down. And then we can always scale it up. I think we're going to have more than enough. All right. What am I doing wrong? Where are my planters? Why am I not finding them? Assemblers. They are right here. Okay. One more there. And one more here. We'll take up this belt. Okay. And then before we do this, let's get rid of the seeds we have on us before we set up inserters. That way we can clear our inventory of junk we don't need. Okay. Fast inserter into you. Fast inserter into you. You guys will probably always stay busy since you're at the end of the line. All right. Output's going to come here. Up through here. Boom, boom. Plants. Plants come through here. And we want one more electric pressure. Got a few on me now, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with two. And then, like I said, we'll see if we need to scale up or not. Uh, can you go closer? You cannot. That's as close as that'll go. And then this is where it gets tricky because there's not a model for this i believe <laughs> i gotta remember uh i can tell by looking at here right these are the actual plants so let's take this line back 
Um, take it back to here. So this goes away. Yeah, these are the shiver thorn plants, so I can just pull these up. Uh, maybe I'll leave that belt there and just pull the material off. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. Actually, I am going to leave this here. But let's get this uh, get this stuff off of here. Can I multi-select and then... What is it? E again? Okay. I'm looking, holding down the E... Then I can select multiple, tap E, and I get my resources back. I'm going to grab this extract, pop in the plants. Yeah, so the filter is only one... can only reach one distance. One block. So that is our filter right here. That's the one for the extract, right? Where the goo is, I'm calling it. And this is our long-handled inserter to bring in plants for processing. It's you. Okay. And then we have seed output over this way. So that's going to be a filter. Inserter. You, not those seeds. You're not going to find any of those seeds in there. Okay. That is our line, I believe. We just need to process the goo. Um, and this is the goo. We want to leave room for other threshers. In fact, I might put one down just as a placeholder. In case we want to scale this later. Uh, if I can get it. It's going to be... Yeah, right there, I think. Keep going. Don't tell me what to do. Alright, we're going to leave that. And now we need to process the goo into the coolant. Which is, where is that? That is you. So we need, hmm. Iron components and limestone. And I'm guessing an, an assembler will do it. Um, oops. You to get that out of my face. Let's uh, come over here. Here's a random assembler that we were just playing with, right? Let's, uh... Actually, we're making the threshers with it. Can I make coolant? I can. But what I'm going to do right now while I'm sitting here, let's make the high voltage cable we need and get that done with this guy. And what we can do this is a little side project, but it needs to get done. Let's, let's see, let's see. Oh guys can be right next to each other, but I actually don't want them right next to each other, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. Boom. I'm going to put in uh, plant matter, and I'm going to put in electric cable. And then I'm going to put filter inserters here on the sides, so something like you pull out cable. You pull out plant matter. Which one is it? It is this guy. Um, cube. Belt. 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 You. You can see what's about to happen here, so I'm not going to let it happen. Okay, cute. Right. Inserter here. Regular inserter. Bam. 
closer this way. Boom. Boom. Belt. Belt. And, um, sure. Can you go there? Right. That's going to produce our high voltage cable that we need. And there should be enough here to get the 500 or 480 or 420, whatever it was that we needed. That's done. A little bit of a side project. Let's see how this is going. We got plants growing. Um, this guy's a little starved out for seed, and there's a little bit of extra seed here. I can't do too much about that. I got spot for two, huh? Uh, I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to let it run. I think that will maybe recover. All right, back to coolant. Let's do a little bit of drilling, because we know we're going to have to. Need a bit more floor space over here. Because we need to make the coolant and then we need to make the uh, those modules from the coolant, I think. And we got to figure out if we want to actually bring in the stuff into hoppers. Like the... Uh, the limestone and the iron components. Do we just want to bring that one in with hoppers or do we want to belt that over here? Uh, it only takes one iron component per coolant and one limestone per coolant. I'm half tempted to just haul that stuff over rather than belt it. But we do need a lot of these. We need 2,000. Three per... So, yeah, it would be, let's see, 2000, so 2000 of these, I think 2000 times three of these, 6,000 of these. Yeah. So 6,000 limestone, 6,000 iron components. <laughs> we're going to have to belt them. I think, I think we're going to have to belt them. Here. Let me just see what we're doing on that side of the house here. We've got, okay, iron, that's doing well. Got a bunch of iron components here, right? 800 per, so what? 8, 16, 32, 4,000, um, 4, four, almost 4,400, a little more than 4,400 in there. And I got a bunch more over on this side that are starting to accumulate. This is where we were, I think, building our planters. But I've turned off that production. And now we're just starting to accumulate more um, iron components. Limestone, I guess, is the other variable. Hmm. Well, I have to find some of that. I mean, I've got a bunch in hoppers we can use. I think I still have a bunch down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, quite a bit, right? This is 4,000 per. 4,000, 8,000, 12,000, 13, 14, 15,000 right there. Uh, we might use a hopper for the limestone, but we'll plan to belt the, the iron parts. And then obviously we're going to belt the shiverthorn extract. But we want to do it over here. It's a little dark. Hmm... A little dark, but we're going to deal with it. Let's get some floor down. Okay. We can put torches down. It's not a big deal. All right, what's the first step? First step of these guys, Shiverthorn, Iron Components. How do we want to do that? Um, 
let's see. We need a lot of this. A lot of this. This is assemblers. I think I got a bunch on me. Yeah, I've got 27 assemblers on me. Just thinking in my head how I want to route things. Limestone, we're probably going to pull from a hopper. Or from a storage container. Um, it stacks to 500, so it's easy to bring over. Iron components will belt in. Shiverthorn extract we've got right nearby. Did that go up the middle? Let's see. Here's our extract line coming down. I believe, right? Is that what we've got here? Yep. Every time I hit escape, um, I go into the menu. I'm Q is cancel for the most part. Uh, this floor is not connected up just yet. Maybe the game's got to cycle and register the flooring. Belts, belts. How do we want to route our belts? Um, let's just start putting down some assemblers and think about this. We've got two inputs and one output. Two, three inputs, sorry, three inputs and one output. Can we just need to leave room for two belts on this side? So a space and two belts, and then I can do my work How about over here. Oops, sorry for that. I think I need two belts on either side of this guy, right? Let's get these down. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, we got three products we're going to input. One we're going to output. And one of these is going to be limestone. So maybe a little goofy. It's a little goofy here. I'm going to hop a hopper down. Right there. That's going to be limestone. Okay. That's going to be our limestone supply. Let's do a little bit of drilling here. How are we doing on time? Pretty good. We need a lot of this fuel. But uh, our little shiver thorn production, we'll see how good that is, how much we're going to get. I want to get another row of assemblers here so I can kind of see my pattern. Okay. That line up. Yep. All right, limestone inserters we're working on right now. Limestone inserters into my assemblers. Boom, boom, and boom. And on this side, they have to be long-handled inserters. Right, we're going to reach across. 
and bring those guys in like this. That's our limestone coming in. Now our output, we can make this belt. Uh, yeah, let's make this the common output belt. So this is output for these two guys. So it's just the opposite. We got the long inserters. This time we're gonna place on the far belt our output, which is these little coolant module things. And then this side, same thing, except we don't need the extra reach. That's you, output, output, output. All right. And then we're gonna have matching input belts on either side here to bring in the iron components and the shiver thorn goo we're gonna have to get more electric floor okay seven on my hot bar these are more inputs mirror image of the other ones we've got on the far side we'll see how i can do this it might be a little cramped Pull this off. We'll figure it out. Okay, Shiverthorn can be. Uh, let's call Shiverthorn the outer belt. How is that going to work? We'll find out. Um, I do want to bring this. Hmm, Kate running feed belts in opposite directions. So, for example, Iron components coming in this way to feed these assemblers. And then Shiverthorn running up that way to feed these things. That drives me a little crazy. I don't know why it shouldn't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so what I could do... What could I do to avoid complete spaghettiization of our stuff? I think I'm going to have to do it. I don't want to do it gonna have to do it might have to run this belt the opposite direction oh man don't like it don't like it what can i do what's my alternative i should have left a little more room here because i do need room for two belts off of this thing i'm already too close um this electronic this electric thresher i'm talking about needs two belts that it can uh, access one to pull in the plant matter and i think the other one to dump off the seeds or something or dump off the goo actually we're not using it yet but i'm kind of got room reserved for that so this may need to double back oh man i don't like it i don't like it but we may have to do it we may have to take this belt this is the goo take this belt Double it back up over these belts or something. And then drop in to feed there and over and drop in to feed here. Feed the um, Shiverthorn goo to both of those. Just trying to think if there's a way I can make this a little less spaghetti. Could make these... Travel the other direction and hop over. That wouldn't be the end of the world. It would be cleaner. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wish I left more room. We're going to make it work. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Just thinking it through. What that would mean over here is this guy's output would be coming up this way. Uh, that one could actually just... Mm. Alright, let's just do something. Alright, I'm going to pull these up. No purpose for those belts right now. And then I'm going to rotate these. I'm going to put 
put material on this belt when I do this, I'm sure. Oh, wow. This is, uh... A little screwy. We'll get it figured out. Just reversing this belt to go the other direction. Yeah, I just took everything off of that. That's our goo. Got a bunch of it on me now. And this is our output belt. This is meant to be... Our feeder belt, right? Let's see what these are. Yeah, that's the plants. Let's rotate this one. And let's come into here and get rid of... Didn't I just pick up a plant? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Then this belt, the goo belt, needs to just come all the way over here and find a happy spot. Where it's not so crowded. And you need to come over all this... I don't like that. Here comes the goo. Okay, we'll make goo the outside belt. Okay, the goo is the outside belt. Now let's feed the goo into all of our um, assemblers here using long handled inserters on both sides. We'll start with six assemblers. I think we're going to scale this up quite a bit, but let's just get it tuned for six. Uh, lung inserters there. One for you. One for you. One for you. Other side. Let's see. What am I doing? The back ones. So we'll try to mimic that. One for you. One for you. One for you. Let's go ahead and set our recipes. It's going to be Shiverthorn coolant. And now we just need to bring our, bring our iron parts over. <laughs> oh man, I'm running out of room. Running out of room. Running out of room. This is probably going to have to go back. Uh, not F. Let's do this. Drill this back. I, think I may need to move this um, limestone container back. So that we've got a place to route our iron components through here. A little crowded, but we need to get iron components on this belt. And iron components on this inner belt. And then this guy here, I believe, is our outer belt, right? Yeah, that's the output. And that'll be our, our coolant, guys. But I need more room. I'm going to go fetch more limestone, too. Okay. And then, how do we want to do this? Sometimes it's nice to have the belts that hop always go in one direction. You know what I'm saying? So... Like this belt is going that direction and it's doing a hop. And now this one's going a different direction. And it's doing a hop. If you can make it so that only one direction ever has to hop and the other direction usually stays flat, it looks a little nicer. We might be able to pull that off. Let's get this fixed. This we gotta move back, we know, so let's do it. And then, yeah, maybe we'll have this belt stay nice and low. 
just to kind of stick with what I was talking about, uh, we better pull this one out just so we don't mix our belts up. Uh, sure, you can go. And then we're going to run a belt of elect um, iron components here. Might have to go get some more flooring. Uh, where are you? It's going to be a long run, right? Because we, we need to bring iron components over here from far away. Okay, that cleans up that a little bit. Again, hitting escape instead of the Q key. Q again. And I want those iron components. Let's do this part of the belt so we know just how far we need to be. We're going to hop there. So let's do it. Okay, that's us right there. Oh, I got just enough floor. Pull this off. Might need belts at some point. Uh, 126. I'm using a lot. I haven't. I don't remember crafting any recently. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more. Can do I have what I need to craft some? Let's uh, get them going. Logistics, sure. I don't think I have those automated. Uh, all right. Man. All right, we need to get him there somehow. Let's out a little bit of space if we can. Okay, there's an old light. I'm just going to tear up these derelict looking lights. Okay. Wear that off a little bit. Okay, where? How can I do this? Do we want to come down this way? We might. Do I have more stairs? Do I have room to ride a belt? I do. Bear with me here. I'm trying to find my stairs. But let's do floor, a little bit of floor here. Stairs are in slot F7. Rotate about two. May do it. I'm thinking the belt. Oh, I don't like having belt right in front of stairs like this. Um, we're going to make it work. I don't mind snuggling up next to this belt. Actually, we could come down here. This is going to be again, iron parts. Boom. Iron parts. We've got some way out here. They're a little buried though. There they are. And this production line, I think, is still actively trying to produce filter inserters. Let's see how many more we got in here. 332. Um, what I want to try and do is tap into that supply. Ooh, here's a nice... Have it here. <laughs> it's not... Take it back. This isn't real nice, but there is a belt here of iron components that I could just extend. Man, I'm not going to be proud of this, but I might do it. May not be proud, but I might be able to do it. You know what I could do? 
We've got, what is this? These are fast inserters. I think we were just building these for us. Just snagging some for our own purposes. We may not need that anymore. In fact, I'm pretty sure we don't. So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do, I'm going to make clean this up a little bit. Let's grab all these fast inserters. Get rid of that. We'll tuck them in here just for storage. Sort. And then, what is it, for a stack? I just need to do shift click. So these are the fast ones. Let's, we'll keep a stack. These are what? Regular inserters. And then we can take up this belt, I think, as well. That was the one that was bringing fast inserters down. We were just grabbing whichever, whichever ones kind of slipped by these uh, assemblers. Ooh, is that the long handled right there? That is. I think I need. Uh, I think I need one more belt to keep our filter inserters being produced. What are these guys waiting on? You're waiting on processor units. I'm not going to debug that right now. It's, you know, we're getting them. They're slow. I'm not sure how many more we need. We've got 350. Let me grab those. Next time we swing by Terminal 2, we'll go fill that up. But the reason I did that is now I've got... Ooh, what is this? These are regular inserters. What was that belt? Oh, that was... That was my output belt to create regular inserters. And these... I think these may still be needed. I've got a lot. 600 and something. Let's leave that detached. That'll get us more iron parts. And then these are mechanical components. We don't need those yet. I think we need these. We're going to need those next, though. Let's um, look at the recipes real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, four intermediates. Here's where we need the iron components. That's what we're routing right now. But then we want to make this guy right here. 2,000 of them. And this is where we're going to need the mechanical components. So we're going to run a belt off of here, too, probably down that same area. We've got tons waiting. Waiting to be utilized. So let's extend this belt. You know, I was going to say, I kind of lost my technique. Unless they did an update and changed the bell construction, the way to, um, to place belts, I've kind of lost the technique because I've been playing like three other automation games at the same time, and they're all doing it different. I need to leave room for that belt so let's cancel this with a Q. Another cancel with a Q. And it looks like... It looks like we... Well... Could we dodge and weave along here? Just trying to find a path for my belts. Bunch of copper wire there. You to get that off the screen. Could these storage bins be moved? That one easily could be moved right here. And that would give me a little more space to run a belt down that way. So we might not use those stairs. Hmm. Oh, man. Just thinking it through. That's our belt of parts right there. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to hop over. Because if we ever want to turn this on, I can't run a belt along that line. We'll have to hop and turn. And then what's stopping me from just hugging this belt? I'd have to hop this stuff, right? You know what? I think I'm going to do it. Just in the interest of time. 
It won't look bad. It's not gonna be a long-term solution though. So we've got to run a belt of mechanical parts as well. We could run it on top, but that would be pretty hideous. Oh man, how about... Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I'm spending too much time thinking about it. Let's uh, do, and we'll think later. You need to come up here and then take a turn for me. Then... About... Is it here? I'm going to cut through here. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to cut. I'm going to go next to this one. Okay. Let's put that blade down. And then you're going to come with me. However you can do it, you're coming with me. Okay. And... Oh, I'm not proud of these belts, but I just don't want to spend more time laying it out. Too much time already, right? All right, here they come. Let's make sure there's a fast inserter on that thing. There it is. We're still manufacturing. This belt's backed up. Let's uh let's get creative. And we can maybe you know increase the output. Okay, I like it. There's a whole bunch in here. That may be the only supply we need to, to worry about. You know, we have another storage container that is being filled with these iron parts. I don't think we're going to need to tap into it. We need a ton of these though. I think at least 2000, right? Or I think it's 6,000 of these. Okay. They're coming through. What are you guys waiting on? Parts. What did I do wrong? I didn't put down my inserters to collect the Parts. Let's do that. Easy. Uh, not you. You. All right, let the production begin. I know there's extra belt there. I'm just leaving it for looks. Okay, now let's hook up our limestone supply again. And we need to run that way out here. What are we doing? You all the way to there. And that's the wrong direction. Let's see if the... Yeah, I think I can change the direction without too much... Difficulty this time. Okay, this is going to be a storage thing of... Uh, I take it back. Okay. You win. I lose. Now I got to be concerned. All right. Hmm. There's got to be a way to go up. What would that way be? Up arrow? Not Q. Oh! Mm, that's a little unexpected. Is that Q? Hmm. Let's take this one back. I'm sure there's a simple way to do it, but that works for now. Storage container. Pop. 
pop some limestone in there. <laughs> Look at the, <laughs> the graphic for that. All right. Very cool. There are the parts we want. Not bad. Now we need to do a little bit more burrowing. We're not going to do it this episode, but let's just scope it out. Oh, just two ingredients. The, the Shiverton coolant that we're making now. And mechanical components, which we're just going to run another belt. And then we need 2,000 of these, so maybe... Hmm. You know, we can always scale this one out. we got room. Plenty of room. We could add six more assemblers. We'll see where the bottleneck is. Let's just double check this. Lots of coolant. Coolant going in there. Coolant going in there, but we're not storing off these... Um, we're not doing anything with the output just yet. Well, let's do that next episode. Um, we'll have to burrow some of this. I can't... Let's see. Uh, to you. We'll burr out some of this and then we'll set up the um, production. It's not going to be bad. We just need to pop down assemblers. We'll probably do another array like this. Pop down six. And then we just got to run two ingredients in. And we'll be good to go. And then uh, maybe because there's 2,000, we can think about running a belt over to that terminal too to feed it and then we'll also drop off our filter inserters pick up the high voltage wire that we've been um constructing in that little temporary assembler that we set up earlier this episode i think right at the beginning and we will we're we may well let me finish the sentence i don't think we're going to finish terminal 2 next episode just because of the production time on these coolant things but we should have all the automation in place to do it. And then maybe we can go off exploring or something. For now, though, this is Cat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. I really mean it. Hope you're enjoying this series on Tectonica. Special thanks, special and sincere thanks to Cat patrons and channel members. Their contributions and support is what keeps this channel alive. Deeply, sincerely appreciate the support. And thanks to those of you that are giving the videos a thumbs up. Appreciate that as well, and I'll see you all in the next episode.